Well, hello and welcome to today's lesson. My name is Rima and today's lesson is very interesting, very different and very musical. Today we're going to learn how you can learn English through songs. Now we all enjoy songs and there's actually no language to music, right? So well, I've picked out a fabulous love song for you and it's called When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan and Keating. So all you have to do basically is go to this link, listen to the song and come right back where I'm going to explain the entire song to you. So see you in a bit. Well, I hope you heard the song, the fantastic love song when you say nothing at all by Ronan Keating, who used to be part of the band called Boyzone. Today we're going to learn how you can learn English through songs. Now we all enjoy songs and there's actually no language to music, right? So well, I've picked out a fabulous love song for you and it's called When You Say Nothing At All by Ronan Keating. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain the song to you line by line and let's see if you understood it correctly. Okay, so the first line and you may have heard this. It goes like, it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. You know, like, it's amazing how you can speak right to my heart. So this actually means it's talking about a person in the singer's life who can really, really understand how the singer feels. You know, there are some people in our life who really get the way we feel. So they really, whenever they speak, they speak right to our heart. So that's what he's trying to say. And the next line, without saying a word, you can light up the dark. So he's basically talking about how when we're feeling really low and our world seems really dark, but there's that one special someone, maybe your spouse, your girlfriend or boyfriend, whoever it is, who just comes and probably sits by you without saying anything, but just that person's presence it feels like your entire dark world has been lit up and there's hope again. I sincerely hope you all have someone like that in your life and that's exactly what Ronan's talking about here. Let's go see the next line. Okay, and this happens to be my favorite line. He says, Try as I may, I could never explain What I hear when you don't say a thing so sometimes it's not all about words, it's about feelings, it's about the energy, it's about how you feel about each other. So sometimes a couple can just sit and not talk to each other and still understand what's going on within each other. So that's what he's trying to say. He's saying, I can't explain in words, you know, what I hear when you don't say anything to me. So I guess all he feels or all he hears is the warmth, is the love, is the affection, is the support that his lady love is offering to him without saying a word. Now these lines which I just explained happen to be the first verse of the song. Now what is a verse? The verse is actually the introductory part of the song followed by one part of the song that keeps getting repeated and that happens to be the chorus which you see in red over here. So let's see what the chorus has to say. Okay, so the chorus goes like this. The smile on your face lets me know that you need me. There's a truth in your eyes saying you'll never leave me. Okay, and that's something that, you know, probably all of us look for in the face of our loved one. So he says that his girlfriend's smile makes him feel like yeah she needs him you know and there's so much truth and so much true love in her eyes that she's actually saying without saying a word that she's never ever going to leave me so these lines actually are trying to say that you know the singer gets a lot of reassurance a lot of support and sees a lot of true love in his lady love's eyes and it's a beautiful feeling i'm sure moving on it says the touch of your hand says you'll catch me whenever I fall. You say it best when you say nothing at all. 
So yes, he's talking about how sometimes, like without words, you can just hold someone's hand or probably just like, you know, touch them. And that touch is full of like reassurance, love and support. So all those ethereal important qualities that matter so much in a relationship, that's exactly what he's talking about. So the touch of your hand says you catch me whenever I fall. So a lot of times I think all of us you know, fall down or give in to negative thoughts, give in to feeling low and all of that. But you know how it is, is that special someone who really lifts us up, you know. So it's probably not talking about literally picking up a person off the floor, but it's talking about picking up a person's spirits, the way a person feels. So he feels like, you know, Whenever she holds his hand, she's just kind of picking him up from that really low, dark, depressed place and making him feel all strong and hopeful again. Well, who wouldn't want a girlfriend like that? So whenever I fall and you say it best when you say nothing at all. So basically, she doesn't need words to connect, to communicate with him. All of her actions and her true love and affection for him, it just says everything without really saying anything at all. So, so that was all about the chorus that I explained to you. Let's move on to the second verse of the song. Now the second verse says, All day long I can hear people talking out loud. So it goes like, All day long I can hear people talking out loud. When you hold me near, you drown out the crowd. So what he's trying to say is that sometimes our life is filled with so many people and there's so much noise in terms of the number of people, the kind of advice we get, the number of interactions, the number of people that we socialize with or the so-called friends that we have. But there's that one person, you know, whenever you're with that person, you feel like you're completely drowning out all that noise and just kind of really connecting with that person. So what he feels is that when his lady love holds him near, he just drowns out the sound, drowns out the crowd. Now drown out over here is not related to water. It means actually separating himself from the noise, from the unwanted advice, from the so-called artificial or superficial people in his life in order to go close and near to a real bond that is the bond that he shares with his lady love. So that's what these two lines mean. Moving on, he says, and again, this is my favorite part. He says, Try as I may, I can never define What's been said between your heart and mine. So what he's trying to say is that the way he and his girlfriend speak to each other without words, the way they communicate in feelings, in energy, in like a bond that is so strong, it's not something that he can define. It's not something that he can put into words because it's basically two hearts communicating with each other without the use of words. I think this is so beautiful and if you have that special someone in your life, I'm sure You've had such conversations many times and you know the value of such conversations. So well, this was all about the song written by Ronan Keating, a very, very hit song, a song that many boyfriends have used to serenade to their girlfriends when you say nothing at all. So what I have for you now is a link. You can go to this link and download the lyrics as in the words of the song and actually use these words you know, look at the words and sing the song to yourself. Now, how is singing the song going to help you? It's going to help you in a lot of ways. The first thing you can do is you can get your pronunciation correct. The second thing you can do is that you can actually master these sentences and the way they, they are formed, the way they are written and get comfortable with that and that will improve your English. And the third way in which it's going to benefit you is maybe if you get it right, you could actually use the song to serenade to your special someone. So, well, I really, really hope that you enjoyed this lesson. I enjoyed singing to you and explaining the song. I'm going to catch you very soon with yet another lesson. Till then, you take care and keep learning English. And of course, if you love our lessons, make sure you do subscribe to our channel.